These lemon brownies, also called lemonies, are delicious. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a large bowl and three quarters of a cup of flour, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt if you're using unsalted butter. Stir that around and then add in half a cup of butter and two large eggs. I start to stir it around a little bit here, but you don't have to do that. You can kind of dump everything in and just stir it at the end. It works out to be the same. At this point, add in the juice of half a lemon and the zest of half a lemon. And that's about a tablespoon of juice and about a tablespoon of zest, roughly. And then you're gonna mix that all together. You can do it by hand or with an electric mixer until you get a nice smooth dough. And then you're gonna spoon that into an eight by eight inch baking dish that's been greased. I lined my baking dish with some aluminum foil and then I lightly greased the aluminum foil. Spread the lemon brownie batter evenly in the bottom of the pan and then bake it at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes until they're kind of light brown and when you stick a toothpick in the center, it comes out clean. Now while you're waiting for them to bake, you can prepare the glaze. The glaze is one half cup of powdered sugar, also called icing sugar or confectioner sugar, the juice of half a lemon, which is about a tablespoon, and some additional lemon zest. It doesn't say exactly how much to put in, but I put in about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of lemon zest in there, and then stir it around until it's well combined. Now the original recipe says you're gonna spread this glaze over top of the brownies once they're cooled completely, but I decided to try something different. These are the brownies just out of the oven. They're still hot. I poked a few holes with a fork in the top of the brownie, and then I poured the glaze on top. So as the glaze is being spread over top of the lemon brownies, they, it kind of melts and kind of goes inside the little holes that you poked in there. So I was hoping it would kind of infuse it with that lemon flavor. And then let them cool completely. I lifted them right out of the pan using the aluminum foil and then sliced them into squares. These are really, really good. The only thing I would do different the next time I make these is I would double the recipe and use a nine by 13 inch pan because I think I got one little piece out of it and then the next day they were all gone. They were eaten by my family. They really like them because I have a couple of lemon lovers that live in my household. These are moist. They are have that brownie kind of a texture to them that has a nice lemon hit from the glaze on the top and it does kind of soak in to the lemon brownies a little bit so they're super moist. It's an awesome recipe. If you love lemon, you need to give these a try. Here's another recipe for lemon lovers. They are lemon crinkle cookies. This is another one that went very quickly in my household. Go ahead and click right on your screen or see the link in the about section below. <laughs> 